All right, today we're going to take a look at a nice little knife just rolled in. And my co-sponsors today are Little Debbie Swiss Rolls. And I think these are made in, I can't remember where, Kentucky? No, it's uh, McKee Foods College, Dale, Tennessee, 37315. So that's one of my favorite sponsors. And another sponsor today is... Coors Light made in Golden, Colorado. So here's the knife we're looking at. It is a Bush Ranger Light. And it does show some of the specs on the front of the box. Uh, blade thickness is 3.8 millimeters. And there are more there. And one of the warnings, it says, please use caution when hold handling cold steel products. Knives are extremely sharp. They better be. There's the number 21A Bush Ranger Light. This is, came in the bubble wrap. Nicely wrapped. So here is the Bush Ranger Light. It's green. That is some kind of plastic. Glass filled nylon. Plastic nylon. So this has a spine rocker locking mechanism right there you can see that spine lock it's supposed to be an easy opening but it's kind of hard because you're pushing on that spine lock when you open the blade but it's not bad and it also has a sliding grip safety right here this thing slides slide it forward you cannot unlock it and the way that works See if we can see in there. There's a little bitty, about an eighth inch bar stock. It's round. Push it forward. You see that thing going forward. That little piece of bar stock, it's round. It slips right in under, right here under the spine lock and you can't push it down no pushing it down unlock it push it down that's kind of a cool little uh, mechanism I don't really think it's necessary on this knife because this spine lock works really good and it's called a uh, rocker lock like I said it's green it's got a two-way pocket clip clip is pretty tight it's got some pretty good traction on the grip and it's a little bit thicker than normal and I like that it's got some it feels pretty good and the blade markings are let's see there is the Bush Ranger light and it does have a lanyard hole there and it is there's the cold steel registered trademark and the blade steel is 8 CR 13 MOV China and I understand there is a Let's see, there's a Bush Ranger, not light, or just a Bush Ranger. It costs, I think it's five times more than this. It's about $150. This is only in the $30 range. Now, the overall length of this little Bush Ranger is right about eight, eight and a half inches. Good length. Blade is three and three quarter, about three and three quarter inches. And the weight of this thing is five, little, right around five ounces, which is not bad for a, like a beater knife. Good utility knife. I like that clip point. Let's see how sharp this thing comes from the factory. And we are going to use some Little Debbie Banana Twins Cardboard. Let's see how sharp this is right from the factory. I would say that's extremely sharp. That's good. I'm impressed with that. Let's do a little drop test if we can figure it out. Oh, and... Uh, 
size-wise, it compares to this Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which coincidentally, the Paramilitary 2 is made in the same place where Coors Light is made. That is in Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. So that's good to know. It's about the same size. Costs a lot less. So let's do a drop test. And this, this is a soft pine board. I'm going to test that point, see if I can get it to stick from about, oh, about 18 inches. Didn't work that time. Give it one more try. Okay, so this thing's a little heavy to stick in the pine board. But it does have a pretty good tip on it. So for the price of this thing, I like it. Doesn't open extremely fast, but it's not bad. That is the Bush Ranger Light. And we are giving some cowbell today to the products that are made in Golden, Colorado and in Tennessee. Knuckle bomb.